Being the reigning Bolido Pro champion definitely has a lot of pressure on me. There's definitely that feeling of like, I really want to perform again. I've been training super hard, I've been working on my mental strength, I've been doing everything in my power uh, in order to do the best I could possibly do in, in Bolido. The day I arrived in Bolido uh, with my girlfriend and checked into the place we staying. And then the next morning I woke up and I was like, whoa, waves are incredible. You know, like banks were insane, lining up perfectly. arrive at an event that means so much to me and score such perfect waves prior to the event and have amazing warm-ups in the in the build-up that was like the cherry on top for me and the perfect way to warm up for the event. So the day before the event my girlfriend Gita and my coach Llewellyn Whitaker we all went down to this like sort of secluded beach where I was able to do the last bit of board testing that needed to happen and then the last final speech with my coach just to be super confident for my heat coming up the next day. awesome time down there and um, yeah got some fun waves nobody else around it was the perfect way to spend the day before the event started defending champion here of the Be That Pro this right over here is pretty flat. Okay. The left over here is a bit better. Play the story up, play the chess. As these guys move, then I'm going to move my piece. Going into that first heat, I definitely had a bit of pressure on me. I was definitely a bit nervous, but a good nervous. Well, this is Aiden Mason camp. I've been riding now. 
front side wrap there from Mason Cump. He's found a little right hander from the rock section, dealing with the bumps nicely for the time being. Goes for the strong finish and kicks up a lot of spray with that back foot jam. So nice surfing there from Aiden. Aiden Mason Cump up and riding on a great looking right hander. Big stab on that opening turn, kicking up a lot of spray for Aiden. Now he's looking for the strong finish as well. And uh, nice and solid commitment on that final turn as well. He's feeling it. That score of William Cardoso came in with a 7.17, so showing that power surfing is not dead. It was epic to compete against the world's best. You know, I had two XCT surfers in the event. Yeah, the defending champ uh, keeps his dream alive here in 2022. I loved how you played back that strategy. Yeah, it's one hit at a time, that's all we need to do. And the surfing is there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll keep the focus and then move on to the next one. Heat winner, Aiden Mason Camp, as well as 2021 Benito Pro champion. I know it's not a curious anymore. We've been to the big challenger series. It's so great to see you take that win advancing through to the next round. What does it mean to you to be here at the challenger series? It feels amazing being back. I always love coming back to Benito. It's amazing how yeah, it was super, super fun. Yeah, uh, it's good to get that heat out of, out of the way and move on to the next, now moving on with confidence. So winning that first heat was definitely just one box ticked, you know. It lifted a little bit of weight off my shoulders. Now I'm moving into the event and now I've got the flow. I'm ready to go. I had one goal in mind and that was get as far as I can in this event and eventually win. That's what the goal was, you know. I'd been visualizing prior to, to this event for a few months you know, and then in the final and then winning and holding that trophy up once again. Final heat of the afternoon. Aiden Mason Camp, the South African, will keep the locals tied here to the beach in the afternoon southerly wind. In my second heat, I had two XCT surfers as well, and current number one on the Challenger Series rankings. For me, I've been training long and hard on trying to block out everything that doesn't matter. My coach and I, we had our strategy planned out. The other guys went and sat on a different peak. I sat on my peak. It gave me an opportunity. Being confident in that decision was crucial. Using to stick on his forehand, it's the lip line floater. Let's have a look at Leo Fioravante. He'll go to the sky and almost emerges from the white water. Okay, so sticking to the right here is the South African, just keeping his speed and that big close-out maneuver there from Aidan Mason Camp. So the judge is enjoying that, enjoying how much he's pushing his tail off the lip there. I capitalized on the first two waves. I was in the lead. It was a very low scoring heat. Had height to it, it was inverted. A 7.13, Leon Ferravanti flips the heat over, goes from third to first, and now the pressure will fall on the South African. Mason Camp drops to third. 5.71 requirement. With 10 minutes remaining, I found myself in third position, needing a 5.8. And for the conditions and for that heat, a 5.8 was two turns on a decent wave. Mason Camp must apply himself now if he is going to attack the clock will be on 10 seconds. Federico will just try and up a last number. We hear the horn in the background that is going to bring a completion. Mason Camp will not find the requirement. I was extremely frustrated. All that hard work and all that preparation prior to the event and even way before, you know, came down to this moment and and now I've lost. I was angry, pissed off frustrated. Unfortunately, I couldn't control what the ocean was going to do. 
it was me against the ocean. <laughs> it wasn't a matter of underperforming or my skill level that's not there. I know I'm there, but it's the, it's the ocean, you know, you can't control that. But there were a couple crucial, crucial things that were at stake here, you know. Wild cards for J-Bay, obviously defending the Bleeder Pro title, valuable points in order to get to the championship tour. Uh, all of that just gone. That's, that's surfing. It's brutal. Over the years of winning and losing, you need to learn how to win, you need to learn how to lose. But I needed to bring it together, take some time to process the moment and move on from there, onto the next event and onto bigger things. So even though the contest didn't go the way I would have liked, it was still an amazing time. I had such a nice time with my girlfriend. We got to spend time together. We got to go to the beach. We had nice beach days. We did some nice sightseeing. We did some really cool stuff. <laughs> while traveling and while competing, I think that's also what matters. I'm super grateful that I have good people around me, good people that can distract me from the bad times. It's uh, definitely something that I really treasure and looking forward to what's to come. I will be pushing my hardest and training my hardest. This is what I love doing and I'm gonna keep doing it.